Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, August 5th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied significantly today. We tested yet again uh, 91.76 and then we rallied. We were at right at the 20, expon 20 exponential and break above here and the 300 moving average. Well, then we could go and retest it um, 93.707 level. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still bearish, but it is turning around. The stochastic is bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. We do have a crossing here of the 50 and the 200 moving average, and that should mean that in the long run, this should go bullish. We saw the crossing here the last time, basically last year, June or July last year. And since then, we basically broke down significantly. And now we have another crossing here, which is very excited for this because uh, that basically means that most of the rallies uh, that we have seen uh, the last year will probably come to an end. So let's look at oil. So one of those is oil, for example, it has fallen off a cliff since uh, we hit roughly 73.67. Uh, We're down to 67 at this point and break below uh, the 65 level then 60 will most likely come into play where we have 200 moving average. So this has been running out of steam and uh, there are several reasons. US dollar appreciating is one. But also that economic um, activity in the world is probably not as strong as expected, uh, especially in the, uh, the high growth countries. Uh, we have seen economic indicators that show that uh, economics uh, are basically, the economies are basically slowing down. Therefore, demand for oil will mostly also be much less. We are going to have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and the 15, which is usually a very bearish shine. Last time we saw it was basically over here and uh, and so on. Uh, but breaking below these candlesticks here, that could really open the door to 60. If you look at the MACD, is bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and the so is the RSI at this current stage. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas continues to... Um, defy gravity we rallied all the way up towards the top of the bullish band before pulling back up at uh, 4.2 and we haven't been this high for a very very long time we have to go all the way back to uh, 2018 and uh, <clears throat> 2019 before um, seeing these kind of price levels and uh, at this moment uh, five is very likely so pullbacks uh, are getting bought into as long as weather conditions are as they are in the North America, this will most likely continue going higher. But as soon as that changes, then we could see this. So that is that is the question, how long that lasts. So MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and so is RSI. 20 exponential is down here at 3.4, but probably 4 will be as far as this market goes the next time it pulls back. So let's look at copper. So copper continues to drop. We are kind of similar to oil. This is usually a proxy for economic activity. And usually when you get a, a bad economic indicators that the world economy is not going to grow as far, fast as expected, and then you most likely will see something similar to this. This has been it's still an uptrend, but uh, it has not been as bullish as it has been for the last few months. We're trying to get to 4.33 at this point. MACD is uh, crossing the signal line, stochastic, which is bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI. And it more, most likely, we will head towards 4.25 around this area here, and at the bottom of the bullish band into 4.15. And buyers will most likely come in in massive amount of numbers if we get all the way down to four where we have the 200 moving average so let's look at gold so gold rallied today and really got rejected so this is a very very bearish candlestick 
US dollar appreciating and that it works against, for example, gold. And um, yes, when you have a rally up towards the 50 and get rejected this uh, heavily, then kind of it's more likely that we'll drop it from here than continuing to the upside. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bullish at this point. If we break below the candlesticks here at um, 7050, then we'll most likely head towards the previous uh, double bottom here at 6070, give or take. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar, headed up towards the 200 moving average and really got rejected here. And uh, it's more likely that we'll head towards the 300 moving average after this rejection than going towards the 50 moving average. If you look at the MACD, we can see that it is uh, bullish. Stochastic is flat and CCI is flat as well. 300 moving average is roughly at 24.90. So let's look at platinum. So platinum has broken uh, below the 300 moving average. So it is getting rejected at the 20 exponential at the 50. That is where sellers are coming in and basically uh, shorting this. We are below the 300 moving average, which is a very negative sign. We have a crossing here at the 50 and the 200 moving average, which is um, a death cross. And uh, usually that means long term for this market, it will continue going down. We can see the last time we had that crossing, we need to go all the way back to August last year. And then we rallied from roughly 863 all the way up towards uh, 1317. And now we have this crossing yet again. And wouldn't be surprised in one year's time that we basically see that roughly um, going back towards half this around 90. If you look at Fibonacci retracements for this from the bottom to the very top, then we see that the 61.8 is down here at 861. Then the 50 right here at 940. And both of these will probably get tested um, in the long run. We can see the MACD is bullish and bearish, stochastic is bearish, and so is the RSI, approaching oversold conditions. So let's look at Pallium. So Pallium also got rejected at the 20 exponential, and yet again today, and also here looking very, very bearish indeed. Wouldn't be surprised if this fell all the way down to the 200 moving average then, uh, average again at 2546. And MACD is a bearish, stochastic is flat, and the RSI is bearish as well. We are getting rejected at the 50 and the 20, and very similar to platinum. This looks like it's in the long run, have the 50 traveling this way, crossing the 200, and that basically means that we are going to see this market drop significantly lower. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium um, is doing the same thing as it usually does. Um, when it gets a very, very overbought, it breaks um, very aggressively to the downside, especially to the 50 moving average. So yet again today, we tried to rally and broke down. We're just above the 20 exponential and uh, we're still on uptrend. It's a very, very nice uptrend, but it got significantly overbought. And wouldn't be surprised if it fell all the way down to the 50 at the 2470 or probably also down to the bottom of the bullish band. So we are kind of making, uh, we are making higher lows. So around the 50, if this trend here should hold, then around the 50 to where buyer will come back in and buy this to the upside. MACD is still bullish, turning around. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at nickel. So nickel continues to fall, but the 50, you can see it here, rally, rally, 20, rally, rally, um, is both areas where buyers come in and buy this to the upside. MACD is becoming bearish, the casting is bearish, and so is the RSI. We are got significantly overstretched here, and I wouldn't be surprised if this was a bigger fall towards the 50 moving average at 18,300, give or take, before this um, turns around. We are still in a very nice uptrend, but... You can see it here, also got very overstretched, pull back to the 50, overstretched, pull back to 50, and so on. So let's look at sugar. 
So sugar also very similar um, move here rallies to the to the upside of the bullish band break down uh, very aggressively the same thing we have seen here we are still in a slight upward channel but uh, pullbacks will mostly continue towards the 50 moving average uh, if they don't turn around here macd is crossing the signal line becoming becoming bearish the stochastic is bearish and so is rsi so my momentum is definitely to the downside at this current stage so let's look at cotton so cotton is also uh, bouncing off the 20 or middle of the bullish band and uh, we kind of we got there yesterday and then today we rallied and it kind of looks like we are going to continue going to continue towards the top of the bullish band um at this current stage which is roughly at 0 0.91 macd is um, flat stochastic is bullish and so is the rsi so let's look at cocoa So Kokoa rallied up towards the 200 moving average and then got absolutely slaughtered. So at this point, um, I'm kind of looking for something similar to this. Last time we got to a 200 moving average right here. Same for this and so on. Wouldn't be surprised going back towards um, 2250 at this uh, current stage after this uh, breakdown here. We're still in... Uh, gradual uh, downtrend we have seen this massive move to the upside but um, they have just been followed in by even bigger drops to the downside making lower lows uh, basically since this was in december last year after this massive rally here so i wouldn't be surprised if this uh, if we fell below the 250 moving average in the middle of the bullish band that we tested at 22 2236 uh, and if that breaks then we are looking at 20 uh, 2083 macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and so rsi is bearish at this point so let's look at wheat so we um, got very overstressed is pulling back now and uh, at this current stage 700 most likely come into play 20 exponential at here at 680 and the 50 moving average down here at 669. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So kind of looking at the pullback before going higher at this current stage. So hope you find this helpful. If you want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck. Thank you very much.